sub five thousand dollar bitcoin can you believe it so yeah today i was looking at it bitcoin was down as low as four thousand three hundred at one point four thousand four hundred that kind of area and um, but when i was following it last night it, it dropped below five thousand dollars for the first time that, that i've seen it in the last few years and yeah I, I wasn't sure if it was going to do that i, I thought that approaching five thousand dollars it was like a psychological barrier but barrier where a lot of people would start buying in but you know, I don't see there's any reason why it can't drop to $4,000 or even $3,000. We're just going to have to wait and see. I've been looking at a lot of comments on Twitter, um, you know, people joking about it, other people being serious about it, uh, and, this, you know, it's the same kind of thing on Reddit. And I'm not going to call out anyone that does technical analysis because I don't know all the terms and I don't know what they're trying to do there. A lot of the time, though, it does seem like smoke and mirrors um, because I saw a lot of people on Twitter trying to explain what was going to happen a few days ago and they were explaining things with candles and, and technical analysis and none of it has come true, you know, and I don't think you can use TA or any kind of uh, analysis with graphs at this point to try and work out what the hell is going on. But I saw a good comment on Twitter from someone who was saying that a lot of the financial reasons and psychological reasons, uh, such as greed, they accelerated the bull run one year ago, those same reasons can be applied in reverse in a bear market where you know people panic and people want to sell and people want to go out and there are a lot of people that have sold there's a lot of people that have just went i'm done i'm out of crypto i don't want to don't want anything to do with it but if you are keeping your coins even if you're not mining anymore because mining profits are down but if you have kept your coins and you haven't sold up then welcome to the elite i think this is a true test of anyone who's involved in cryptocurrency uh, and I think that if you look back the last few years of the cryptocurrency roller coaster, there's been a lot of ups and downs. And I think that in this market, you have to be patient. And it is hard to do that. It's certainly is hard to do that, especially when people are losing money. But I think that um, if, if you're going to stick through this whole thing, then I think long term you won't make money from it. Maybe maybe I, I'm an idiot saying that. Maybe I'm just too bullish for my own good. But I, I'm certainly not looking to cash out at this point. Um, granted, you know, my money's in altcoins, but every altcoin is affected by this as well. So, yeah, uh, and, you know, in a bear market, it's sometimes hard to see the positives in any situation like this. Um, but there are negatives, but I think that there will be some positives from this. Um, Let's be honest that you know the cryptocurrency market has a ton of shit coins, maybe 90% plus, maybe even higher than that. There's a lot of pump and dump coins, there's a lot of projects which are quite frankly shit. They might look good on paper, they might have some cool things in the white paper, but they aren't actually implementing it. And maybe this is what we need, you know, to separate, you know, the good guys from the bad guys, the good projects from the bad projects. Um Good projects will be looking at this as business as usual. They will still be developing what they're trying to develop. They'll be working hard. They'll be doubling down and just focusing all their energy on developing their coin and just you know moving their project to the next level. They won't be worried too much. They're just going to try and focus on it. But that being said, it is important to know that the price of Bitcoin affects everything. It affects the volume of cryptocurrency being traded. It affects the, the price of all other coins in the, in the market. They're all tied to Bitcoin. That's why it's the main trading pair. And this, you know, with the Bitcoin coming down, that affects everything. Um, trading volume will be down, for example, so exchanges will be making less money. Um, and projects, their mining situation is going to be very difficult. Now, mining profits have been going down all year round, but, you know, with Bitcoin coming down, ASIC miners are going to be affected, GPU miners are affected by this as well. And that's a big problem. That is a big problem for any coin that, you know, that's predominantly proof of work. Now, we are going to see more projects implementing proof of stake and things like that, but any, any project that's relying on miners to mine their coin, which is, you know, all the proof of work coins, they're going to be in a bad situation right now because there'll be less people mining. There's a lot of people selling their rigs, a lot of people switching off their rigs, and... If, people, if it isn't profitable for anyone to mine a coin, then they'll buy it. But if there's no one mining it, then, well, it's a bad situation. You've got no one securing your chain. Um, now, there's always, a, you know, on the flip side to that, there's always an opportunity. There's, there, there will be, if you scour through 
lots of different projects that you like, you might find that the block reward, um, whilst it being the same, you will get more coins per day because there's less you know, people actually mining it. So with the difficulty of mining going down, it could be a very good time to actually you know, continue to mine some of these coins. But um, yeah, some of these projects are going to face some, um, some challenges because of this whole you know, market right now. Um, maybe some projects will die, but maybe that's what kind of need to, needs to happen with a lot of these projects. Maybe a lot of them do need to die. Um, maybe a lot of them are relying on people mining their coin because it was profitable to mine at one point, but now it isn't. I don't know. I, it's going to be interesting to see um, how it all works, but I know for a fact there's a lot of coins that rely on you know their price being a, a particular price so that they can sell some of the pre-mine or, or some of the developer fee to convert into Bitcoin to then pay developers. And I suspect there's going to be a lot of projects that simply can't pay developers anymore because you know the profits aren't there anymore. I don't know. I'll, I'll see what happens. Um, there's a, you know, and, and I'm saying I don't know simply because I don't know. I, I'm not trying to sit on the fence here. But you look on Twitter and there's a lot of people saying this is definitely going to happen. This is definitely going to happen. And if you look at, you know, over a period of time at the people that are saying this kind of thing and they're saying this is definitely going to happen, this is this will definitely happen. Very rarely are they, are they right. You know, it's, it's, it's the old uh, idiom that, you know, a broken clock is right twice a day. But a lot of these people are trying to, you know, act as if they know what's going to happen. And I don't think anyone does at this point. Bitcoin could go all the way down to $3,000, maybe even less. But I don't see any reason why it couldn't just rebound quicker than that. And maybe it'll shoot right up to $10,000. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of disagreements uh, as to what's going on. But I think it is fair to say that... This is a shake-up in the industry. I, I do think a lot of projects are going to face a lot of difficult uh, decisions as far as what they do with the project. Some developers might not get paid. And I think as someone you know who mines a coin, who trades a coin, anyone who's involved in cryptocurrency, if you are still here and you're not selling up, then I think long-term, this whole experience will serve you well. And maybe, just maybe, you'll come out of it with some money at the end. We'll see what happens, guys. We'll see what happens. Um, I, I'm, I'm just following everything just now and seeing what everyone else is saying and trying to come to my own conclusions as to what's happening. But I've not been affected by this too much because my money's in altcoins. Not as much as people that you know, sunk a lot of money into Bitcoin when it was $20,000. I sunk my money into mining equipment. And yes, I lost money from selling my mining equipment later. I did, and I paid high electricity costs and all that. But I've certainly not lost out as much as other people out there. And I've saw some people talk about that and said, you know, try and not post too many memes and try not to laugh and all that. Um, and I do understand that that way of thinking because it, it's easy to forget that a lot of people have lost a lot of money through this. They have lost a lot of money and this will be a difficult time for them. Um, but I'm also of the opinion that if you don't laugh about this, you would cry and you have to see the, the funny side of it, about all of this. So. Yeah, there you go. So thanks for watching, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on about, you know, about this whole thing. Have you been affected by this? Have you lost a lot of money? Where do you think the market is going? Do you think it's going to go down before it goes up? Let me know what you think in the comment area. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care.